What's up you guys, Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with a video, and today's video is pretty much simple, I mean look at the title, it is G-Fest season, it is time to gear up for G-Fest 22. I am super excited, uh, I'm doing this video today because uh, pretty much a week from now, me and my father will be on the road to uh, G-Fest in Chicago. We are driving again, it's just more reasonable that way. We got a rental car booked, we got our hotel booked. Everything's good to go, registration, we get that early bird special for G-Fest. We're set to go, cannot wait to get into Chicago late next Thursday. So excited. And what better way to gear up for G-Fest than with the two big G's, Godzilla and Gamera, plus my three favorite kaiju. Anyway. Um, things to expect this year from G-Fest. Uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to the uh, Symphonic Fury concert. Um, you know, they're doing another concert this year. If you didn't get to go, to go to the one last year, I highly recommend you do your best to get a ticket and uh, go to the one this year. I'm really looking forward to that. I um, do hope that they have some CDs left for sale from last year's concert. That'll probably be one of the first things I buy at G-Fest is one of the CDs of last year's concert. Hopefully they still have some copies available for sale at G-Fest. I'm hoping. And um, let's see, uh, what else? Golly, I've had a few people contact, contact me already. They're looking forward to seeing me again or meeting me for the first time, a few of you in the comments. And, uh, you know, wanting autographs, so I will have my Sharpie, you know, my Sharpie pen. Uh, I wasn't prepared last year for autographs. I mean, last year pretty much marked my channel kind of being on YouTube for a year and uh, because when I first went to G-Fest I was just your average ordinary everyday you know Godzilla fan and then after G-Fest my first G-Fest, G-Fest 20 I just felt like opening a new door to this hobby that I love so much um, so that's why I started the YouTube channel I didn't go into this YouTube channel you know wanting you know to get a whole bunch of subs to start you know see if I can make some money off of it I just went into it just to open a door to this hobby that I love so much and just do figure reviews and anything else that I can come up with. And, uh, you know, it just really hit off great. Uh, you know, subs, you know I'm, I'm at, I'm just a little over 700 subscribers, which is, you know, awesome. I never expected I would get that far. Thank you all so much for your support. But uh, last year, my, my second G-Fest, I was actually having people come up to me and ask for autographs. I wasn't really expecting that. And, you know, signing my very first autograph ever for Godzilla Fan Freaks, it put a smile on my face. I was happy to do it. I was happy to take pictures, sign autographs. So if you see me there, you guys, look for the Godzilla Fan Freaks t-shirt right here. You guys know what I look like by face as well. I will be there. You know, don't be shy. Come on on. Just come on up. If you want me to sign something, that's great. If you would like a picture or something, awesome. You know, don't be shy. I'm all opened up. I'm all opened up to it. You know, and everything. It's great that I have fans that like to interact with me while I'm at G-Fest. I never thought I'd really be doing anything like that. And uh, I kind of know how Rich Eso feels with, uh, you know, being at G-Fest and everything like that. Because me and him are in the same boat, you know. His first G-Fest was my first G-Fest, and it's kind of just going along down the same uh, path there with me and Rich. But uh, last year, uh, you know, I could relate to Rich. I knew, I know how he felt with, uh, cause he could, you know, he'd be talking to someone or his head would be turned and he could hear someone whispers, you know, saying, that's Mr. Fresh Vinyl, that's Rich Iso. And I think he said he would turn around and he'd be like, where, where's that guy at? You know, I kind of had that same thing going on. I didn't really go into it like Rich did, but you know, I just turned around and say, Hey, you know, don't be shy, you know, you know, say hi, you know, ask, ask me questions, you know. So it's like, you know, I did have people saying, That's Godzilla fan freaks and everything else. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. And it's great that I have, you know, fans that like to interact with me. So, like, if you see me, don't be shy, walk up. If you want a picture, you want an autograph, that's cool. I'm fine with doing that. And uh, if you have any questions too, go ahead and feel free to ask. Um, you know, really excited about this year though too. I mean, not only is it my third G-Fest, you know, I'm excited, you know, about the road trip with my dad. It's always fun. We have a great time, uh, getting to see everyone again, Rich, Samson West, Scrooge, um, sadly my friend Jake can't make it again this year. That sucks. Jake, I'm going to miss you, buddy. Um, but geez, so many other people, David, Dell, James, Paul, too many people to name and so many other new faces that I've met 
over the past year now that are going to be there as well. So meeting a lot of old friends again is always great, plus getting to meet and see a lot of new ones as well. It's going to be a great experience, and I cannot you know wait for it. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, Goji fan 93. I met him last year, and last year was his first G Fest, and he's going again this year. And he contacted me, and he actually wants to do an interview with me about my channel. And I accept it. I'm happy to do that. Again, it's just something new to open up a door to the hobby. So it's that's great that I'm getting interviewed. Um, never really thought something like that would happen. So uh, thank you, Goji fan. I cannot wait to see you at G Fest, and I am looking forward to that interview. Can't wait to tackle the questions you got for me. And um, what else? Golly, just so many people to meet and see, so much to do. Uh, as far as stuff that I'm going to be buying this year, uh, to be honest, you guys, I'm excited about that too because this is going to be my first G-Fest that I don't have a list. The last two G-Fests, I kind of had a list of things that I wanted to get to get you know my collection kind of where I wanted it to be. And that's what I did for the past two G-Fests. I made a list, and I pretty much got the figures I wanted to if I could find them. And this year, though, it's free range. It's open hunting season in the dealer's room for me. I'm just going to pretty much, if I see something that I like and it appeals to me and it catches my eye, and if it's in a decent enough price range that I feel comfortable with it, I'm going to get it. So I don't know what I'm going to be coming home with this year. Um, you know, maybe, you know, most po possibly probably some X Plus, maybe some Bandai's, maybe a little more, you know, Bull Marks and uh, maybe some Geiger Brains or something. I, I don't know. Again, it's going to be, it's going to be totally open this year, free range hunting for me. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. Instead of looking for figures that I specifically want, it's just going to be pretty much looking at, I mean, I look at everything, but this year it's pretty much going to be looking over everything and then like, oh, you know, I've seen that the past couple years. I like it. I think I'm going to get it. So really excited about everything. Uh, the concert, seeing all of my good friends and everything, it's, it's just going to be a blast. Cannot wait for it. Uh, I don't want this video to drag on too long with blabbering, but I just want to let you guys know I'm ready for G-Fest. I'm ready to, you know, see everyone again, uh, you know, as well as friends, at, as well as fans as well. I, I just can't wait. It's going to be a great, you know, another great G-Fest, G-Fest 22, my third G-Fest, you know, another road trip with Dad. It's great. I'm excited. I'm ready. A week from now, uh, we will be on the road, and me and my dad will probably be in Oklahoma or something like that this time next week or, you know, whenever this gets uploaded or whatever. We'll pretty much be on the road because we're leaving next Wednesday early in the morning, get there in Chicago Thursday night probably, Thursday night, maybe evening, just depends on how... Uh, well, we drive and everything like that, trading on and off. But I'm um, excited, excited to see everybody, friends and fans. I look forward to seeing everyone there. I look forward to the concert, deals room, panels, guests, you name it. G-Fest 22 is going to rock. And uh, that is all I have for you guys. Just wanted to do this little video just so you guys have a little bit more content. And uh, this probably will be my last video until I get back from G-Fest. That's another thing I did want to talk about that just reminded me. I probably won't be doing what I did last year, you know, with like the vlogging and stuff like that. Like the vlogging the first day and then vlogging at the end of the day, see how far we get. I'm probably not going to do too much of that just because I didn't get, I, I mean, I don't expect to always get a lot of feedback on every video I do. But I want to put content out there for you guys that you guys enjoy and you guys can, you know, somewhat respond to. So it's like I, I don't think I'm going to waste a lot of time with some vlogs and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I'm pretty much going to take probably, you know, videos when I'm at G-Fest. I'll probably do another video of the uh, model room. Probably do a little bit longer video of the dealer's room. And, you know, some of the panel rooms. Maybe even do some, uh, you know, short videos again of some panels. Probably do another short, you know, kind of skit video with Rich. I don't know. There are a lot of stuff is up in the air. But I'm not going to be doing any of the vlogs like I did last year or anything like that. Because I don't want to bore you guys with any of that stuff. So, I mean, this is going to be the last video until I get back after G-Fest and upload the videos of me at G-Fest. And then after those, do the G-Fest haul, exactly like I did last year. So, uh, until then, you guys, it's going to be a while before you see a video from me. But hang in there, you guys. And I look forward to seeing most of you at G-Fest. And uh, cannot wait, you guys. It, the, the clock's ticking. It's counting down. We're almost there. Anyway, you guys... We are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Like always, please comment, like, and subscribe. 
and we will see you guys in the next video review, or I will see you at G-Fest very soon. Thank you for watching.